Okay, so on to the next track slash performance in Avaz Alcove of Musical Threads series, man. It's been an incredible series so far. Like I said, it's been all Portuguese music. For those of you who are only sort of jumping on here now, um, there's a couple of more musical uh, Portuguese music uh, coming along. And then we are shifting to uh, something else. So uh, don't stress if you don't want to be listening to Portuguese music the entire time. For me, I personally absolutely love it. Uh, the next one over here is Salvador Sobral, uh, which is that Alex Alexandra Search. It's actually the same name. Uh, performs with uh, Caetano Veloso at the grand final of the 2018 Eurovision Song Contest. Um, apparently, the song actually is... The actual name of this uh, particular song, um, just to give you a bit of an idea, is Mano, uh, Mano Umano, which is brother to brother, and then, um, uh, well, like face to face. So it's like my brother to brother, face to face, uh, man to man. That's what I've got from here so far. Um, but we'll pull up the lyrics as and when um, I feel I need to as we go through this performance. But yeah, it's a Eurovision performance. Let's see what we got over here. Let's rock and roll. Let's go. Salvador Subral! I haven't watched a Eurovision in decades. type of track very artsy type of track over here um just going into the lyrics it's an interesting story as well but let's go into the lyrics quickly over here so this is the man to man so the lyrics over here is i, uh, I came to cry my sorrow on your shoulder and after all the same pain condemns you you cry for the same evil two brothers in torment children of the same affliction neither of them has the courage to give others a hand uh love doesn't Sorry, love doesn't want us uh, well. No one will be worth us if one loses uh, what he has, the other doesn't have it at all. Uh, so it's about uh, literally about a story of two brothers that have literally um, um, f fallen wayside from each other for some odd reason. Um, if one loses the other one, uh, what one has, the other one doesn't have it at all. Um, and the uh, sorry, all we have left is hand to hand. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't want to be alone, leave your piano there. Dating my voice, uh, love doesn't want us well. No one will be worth us if one loses what he has, um, and the other doesn't have it at all. Um, all we have left is hand to hand. If we don't want to be alone, leave your piano there. Dating my voice. 
right? So it's basically a story of two brothers from what I'm getting from here, which have kind of gone toxic. And then the next part of the song is called Letra de Am- uh, Amar Pelus Doi. So it's like letter of love to both of them, right? Uh, we'll go through those lyrics shortly, but let the song just carry on. So yeah, let's go. somewhat sort of like uh, joyful and juvenile as if he is a child talking about the brothers I'm not sure but carry on assuming is the end of the actual first part of um, that song. Muito obrigado. Júlio Rezende no piano. Oh, actually, maybe that's just yeah, a song on its own. Thank you very much. I think uh, the best thing about uh, winning Eurovision was that I got to meet uh, I think uh, the musician Very that interesting song. Okay, so that's actually a song on its own and it's literally about a song of two brothers that have sort of fallen apart. Two brothers that were supposed to be uh, um, connected. Two brothers that were supposed to be uh, together uh, because if the one loses everything, the other one has nothing, obviously. Um, so a very interesting story. Very different type of performance um, for me. In terms of like um, Eurovision performances... Um, is this like a winning type performance? I, I, I'm not sure. I mean, he says that he won it. I don't know if he won it on this particular song. Um, but it, uh, for me, it's like, it's okay. It's like, it's a, it's a good song. It's a nice story. But, you know, and it's, a very, it's very different. But it's not anything so spectacular that would, like, unless every other performance was terrible. But anyway, let's carry on. Because now, obviously, there's a second part to this. Your vision was that I got to meet... Uh, I think uh, the musician that I admire the most, and not only did I get to meet him, I can now get to sing with him. Please welcome to the stage with a big round of applause, Caetano Veloso. Okay. okay, so this is literally two performances, same artist, um, um, and this is now a completely separate song. Okay, I, I was like wondering, like, how did that song tie into it? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so now this particular part of the song So this one actually seems like it's a love song now. Or oh, actually maybe it's part of the same... Okay, 
por mim Diz que vivi para te amar No, I actually think it's literally a story from the mother to the two boys, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong in the actual comment section over here. But let me just read the lyrics are short, right? So you can, uh, we can go straight into the song and just stop with the lyrics. Um, if one day someone asks for me, say I live to love you, which is something a mother would say, right? But also this says a letter to both of you, uh, which means the letter to both the, the, the brothers. Right, say I live to love you, which is what a mother would say. Before you, I only existed, tired and with nothing to give. Beautiful, my dear, hear my prayers. I ask that you come back, that you want me again. I know you can't love yourself alone. Maybe slowly you can learn again. So obviously, these two brothers are uh, in their own individual uh, um, spaces, are actually in a lot of turmoil in their own lives as well. Um, I know you can't love to love. Uh, I know you. You can't love yourself alone. Maybe slowly you can learn again. My dear, hear my prayers. I ask that you come back, that you want me again. Maybe slowly you can learn again. If you, if your heart doesn't want to give in, not feeling passion, not wanting to suffer, without making plans for what will come next, my heart can only love for both. Okay, so it's basically um, a letter from the mother. I'm not sure if she's still around or it's from like the mother from another life where it's like you know she can't really take sides in this situation that both her children and it's like i can only love you both that's all i can do as a mother uh, that's what i'm here to do this is my existence my existence is to love you and to find a way or a path for you to love yourself as well which if you love yourselves you will eventually learn to love each other that's where i well, what i get from the lyrics right let's go uh play Pretty the lyrics go the lyrics are cool i mean i like the lyrics i like the fact that it's a story about two brothers because these things happen um you know in families and stuff like that and the second part of it is like through like a a letter to both the brothers from the mother i'm assuming all right but the song itself i mean the piano is beautiful but the song itself is a bit boring i, I must be honest like I, in terms of like a eurovision performance like for me this is kind of like something that you just play in like a um sort of like intimate cigar whiskey lounge in the corner um and just sort of singing that providing some sort of atmosphere uh it's like background music sounding to me um it, it's it's not it's not I, I'm, i've got to be honest and i tell you i'm I'm always um honest with my reactions it's, it's not gripping me at all uh this particular this particular piece for some odd reason i'm not sure why Que me voltes a querer Eu sei que não se ama sozinho Talvez de vergueirinho Você voltar a aprender Se o teu 
coração não quis receber Não senti paixão Não quis é sofrer é Sem fazer planos Do que virá depois Meu coração Pode amar pelos dois. Já não quer Salvador Sobral. Bringing real music to your nation. Well, the crowd really liked that song. Uh, like I say, the lyrics are uh, very cool, the story very cool, uh, piano is always very cool, but for me it's background music at best. Uh, it's one of those sort of atmosphere type tracks that you play in the background. Um, uh, and it's got its place, it's got its place, but in terms of like a, like a full-fledged performance, like on-stage performance to a crowd, for me, I would die of boredom if I was in that crowd listening to that kind of thing. I just don't think it's for that type of atmosphere, uh, but I could be wrong. People enjoyed that. Um, I just, just listening uh, to that, I just find it was, it was just, it was, I don't know, it, it was just too slow for me and it was... Uh, it wasn't gripping me at all uh, in terms of like vocal ability it wasn't anything spectacular you know what i mean it's it's literally loungy music uh for me so but anyway uh, that's just that's just me personally personally that's my my own take on that one i found that it was a little bit that was a little bit boring for me but anyway uh on to the next one i'll catch you um on the very next uh, reaction shortly peace